And now she's done up and left me. Ah, fair first, Baba. Please accept my condolences. The breakup of a relationship, especially one as long as that, you may be wondering where you went wrong, and you, you start thinking, was it my fault, or could I have done something? Oh, heck, Doc. I was pleased to see her go. She was ugly as sin and twice as lazy. I see. So, you're calling to... I'm calling to tell all those ladies out there that Big Bub is back in Singletown. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for a woman that likes bringing me beer, making me pie, and fixing my tractor. And she's got to have herself a big pair of hoops. Well, Bubba, if... But it don't matter if she don't like all those things. I mean, I ain't no Neanderthal or nothing. And I knows about them women folks' livers. But long as she's got big hooters, I'm as happy as a hog in mud. Hmm. Tell me, Bubba. Do you? Hey, Doc, it's you courting, because if you ain't, and you're looking for a real man, then we should get together, long as you got yourself a big pair of... Thank you, Bubba, from Dead Man's Hole. On line 23, we have Roscoe. Hello, Roscoe. You're through to Dr. Zing. Uh, yeah. Hi, Doc. Hi, Roscoe. How can I help? Well, the thing is, I'm a regular red-blooded fella, but ever since I was knee-high to a hiccup, I had this fantasy about dressing up like a real pretty cowgirl. I see. Yeah. So anyway, it's about three months ago. Nice to see you again! Yep, I'm still here. I may be selling you stuff at the Movie Magic Mega Mall now, but any day now I'll be selling stuff to you in my own TV infomercial. I just know I'm gonna get my big acting break soon. Hey, I bet you meet lots of versatile ladies in the acting game. Well, I'm not one to kiss and tell, but Patricia Swoon? Well, you know what she said once to me. Take it back. I didn't order anchovies. Oh, she's such a doll. But you know, my first love is the business. So, what can I help you with? Remember to tell all your friends that you met me before I was famous. Good. Fail. Capital City. I got myself a cute little mini skirt and a nice low cut gingham shirt and some cowboy boots. Well, I tell you, it was fun. I spent hours dancing around in front of my mirror just looking at how pretty I was. But that's when my neighbor saw me. And now, well, he done told me that unless I dress up in my cowgirl outfit and ride a greased pig around in my backyard and let him watch, well, he's gonna tell my wife. Well, the first step is to speak to your wife. That way his threat loses its power. What? Shoot, no. I ain't calling about that. I'm calling because I need to know if it's safe for a 400-pound fella like me to ride that pig. I... Uh, 
Well, I'd say probably not. But the real issue is... Hey, Jim Bob, the doc says it ain't safe for me to ride that pig. Yeah, you're gonna have to take him back. Now, now, don't you, don't you be doing that, Jim Bob. He don't like it when you do that. Aw, oh, dang it, I told you, you ain't supposed to be doing that. Well, thanks for that, Roscoe. Jim Bob, I told you, you gotta cut that out. It ain't natural. Uh, over to Maybeth on line four. in my office. Well, I'm... Too slow. Trading's like wrestling a bear. You ever wrestled a bear? You should. Very empowering, I guess. I got no idea what it's like. But we're talking about business, not animal-related sports, and that's the important thing. Got that? No? Good. Don't do that again or I'll fire you. You don't work for me. Okay then, I'll hire you, then fire you. Hello again, cowboy. You are looking hot. Have you come to make me an honest woman? Uh, sorry. I gotta spring my mom first. That could take some time. A smut? I just ran in the a smut country and no one did a smut beat with. <sighs> Anyhow, what can I get you? I need to start making some money real soon. Dang, if I know where to start. Have you ever tried the movie business? The way your chaps is hanging shows me you got the right credentials. And if you're looking for a co-star... No? Okay. Try the notice board. Seems like it's a good way to pick up local information. All right. Oh, yeah. I'll be dead. <laughs> I want you to know how much you mean to me. First time my Take care. Life. Why are you going there, huh? Through to Dr. Singh. Yeah, Dr. Singh. Hi, Maybeth. What seems to be the problem? My husband. I see. And what's the problem with your husband? He ain't showed up. The sheriff's looking to run you in. no good, mm. Jack Weasel. The lack of such interest could be perhaps down to a heavy workload or stress. Uh, what does your husband do? Pull over. Oh, he don't please. do nothing now. Hello. He's a lazy, good-for-nothing son of a horny toad. He just sits there all day and don't move from his favorite chair. And he never says a dang word to me. Well, communication is a key issue in a relationship. It's important oh, and that... then there's the smell Oh, dispatch. Uh, I've lost sight of the suspect. Whatever should I do? 